Hi, my name is Andre Sanchez and I am the Assistant Director of 10 and Under and Junior Development Programs here at Center Court Athletic Club in Chatham, New Jersey. Today, we're going to be talking about how certain exercises can help improve your child's ability to learn. If your child has trouble retaining information, it may be caused by lack of communication between the right and left sides of the brain. Today, classrooms focus on pushing more advanced academics at an earlier age, but fail to focus on motor function, which can play a big part in teaching the two hemispheres of the brain to work together. The body is divided into multiple sections, top to bottom, right to left, and front to back. But the exercise we're about to show you will focus on the midline. The midline divides the body in half, from right to left. These exercises should be repeated 10 times using alternating legs and arms for about 10 to 20 minutes daily. Alright guys, so the first exercise that we're doing in crossing the midline is elbow to knee. So what you want to do guys when you're doing elbow to knee is you want to make sure you're standing the right way first. Have your feet together right next to each other, good. Then you're going to take your elbow going right to the top of your knee guys. Okay, watch me again. I want to do this real slow guys. It's really key that you try to be as accurate and as controlled as possible when you're doing this movement. Then if you land and your feet aren't together, that's okay. Fix your feet and bring them right back together. If you see your child is connecting their right elbow to their right knee, it could indicate that the left and the right sides of the brain are not communicating properly. You will need to physically move their arm to help them with the exercise. Please note, when you first start out with these exercises, your child may not be doing them as well as some of the kids you will see in this video. Practice is key. It may be a few weeks or months before seeing some improvement. The next exercise that we're gonna do guys is shoulder to shoulder touches. You're gonna have your hands up like this guys. Good, and you're gonna reach across your shoulders going side to side. Good, you wanna go nice and slow guys and be as accurate as you can be, okay? It's really important that you're going right to your shoulder and that you're not going past your shoulder. All right guys, the next exercise that we're gonna do is toe touches. So when you're doing the toe touches guys, you wanna make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart. So spread out your feet a little bit, Arush. Good. Guys, you're gonna raise up your right hand and we're gonna reach down and across guys. Try to keep your legs straight and reach as far as you can. If you're not, if you can't touch your toes, that's fine. Reach down as far as you can go. Good job, Charlie. Ow. Good job, Ayana. Very good. Arush, good job. Woo! These are just three of the exercises that your child can do to increase the connection of the left and right sides of the brain. For more information and exercises about this new finding, please see the article in the description below. To find out more about the classes and offerings we have at Center Court Sports, please visit our website, www.centercourtacademy.com. We also offer specialized private sessions focusing on motor function for children ages 2 to 10 years old.